starting with the Mail on Sunday, Paul. Yeah, London Jihad demo leader is NHS doctor. Well, well, well. So, uh, the firebrand leader of an extremist Islamic group that called for jihad at an anti-Israel protest works as an NHS GP under a different name than Mail on Sunday can reveal. So, Abdul Wahid celebrated the barbaric Hamas terror attacks that slaughtered 14,000 Jewish men, women and children. 1,400. 1,400. What did I say? 14,000. Crikey. Uh, no, 1,400. So, but he has also spent the last 20 years practising as a family doctor under his real name, Dr. Wahid Asif Shada. So, I mean, what do you say? It's, I don't suppose it's a surprise, really. Uh, I'm a bit surprised that the NHS is uh, radical Islamists. I mean, when are the doctors going to do the doctoring is when I want to know, because I haven't seen... It's like... You know what the NHS is like at the moment? It's great. It really does help people. But whenever you want to see a GB for... A GB? A GP for just, you know, a basic ailment that you're quite worried about, but you'd like to get some... Get it, get it seen to quite quickly. You can't see them for love nor money because they're protesting. I don't, I don't think uh, Islamic extremism is the main reason... <laughs> you're having trouble I don't think I've just created... This, point, <laughs> this is my new angle. <laughs> not to, this is my new angle, Leo. Not to, I'm going to, to, to I'm building a career on this. But I mean, Lewis, as a, as a Jewish man, are you not worried that there are, there are GPs Shh. out there? Oh, yeah, they I mean, know, they know, Lewis, they I know. I don't want to out you yeah. in the current atmosphere, to be honest, but I mean, there are GPs out there. Seriously. No, we, this is... I this mean, is... I, I would, if I was Jewish, I wouldn't feel comfortable having, a, having somebody who praises Hamas, yeah. uh, you know, uh, operating on me or, or prescribing well, medication to well, me. Well, first of all, what is, what is he supposed to do? What are, what, are, what are these people supposed to be? Are they supposed to be working on all kebab shops and and that's all that they do? No, no these, are, these are normal people. This is, I, I hate to say it, this sounds to me is one of the most racist stories. What are it's, you talking about? He's it. working for the NHS. Yes, he's a state yes, and he's, practitioner of and he's, and what do you think? There aren't Jews in Israel who are doctors who are not supporting what We're not what talking about Jews in Israel. We're, talking about, we're yeah. talking about people in the UK working for the NHS. And, and there are Jews in, in this country who are supporting the Israeli thing or working for the NHS. Yeah, but to, this, to this extent, to the extent of praising Hamas, I mean, I, don't, I haven't heard any Jews, yeah. I haven't heard any Jews praising any kind of, uh, you know, anti-Muslim terror or genocide against Muslims, which yeah. is what Hamas the explicitly the, the, states. I don't know. You know what? This is amazing because this is like a surprise to people. The fact is, is in the Koran, in the, in the great books, is they're, they're constantly talking about jihad, about getting, about taking over things and about killing the Jews. It's like, and you're acting like, like, no, just because he's a doctor, that doesn't mean he doesn't think this. I mean, it's... Uh, and then there's, there's loads of Muslims who don't think this. There are a load, but there are a load who do. And so you can't say that, that people who are in favor of jihad, what, 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 what would you say they should be doing for no, look, I know, I I'm think, asking that seriously. I know, I know you are. Seriously, people who are, who are asking for jihad? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe don't do it in Western Europe. Maybe make your home in a country That's where another jihad question. is supported. What should somebody who lives in Britain, who supports Jihad, and is that one of these demonstrations, 100,000 of them, what job should they have that won't make the Daily Mail? I think the, the first cover. job should be buying a one-way ticket out of this country. You're not, answering, country you're not so, answering the question. I, I, think, I, I think we can bring this in. That just went real meta then. I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone is saying that they should have any other job. I mean, I, I do appreciate that he is an NHS doctor and 20 years service is yeah. great. I mean, let's, let's accept that and park that That's to one side. That's positive aspect <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. So what we've got over here is 20 years service for the NHS. Tick. Over here, <laughs> what we've got is a guy who's essentially supporting Hamas, specifically Hamas. There were 100,000 people out today. Yeah, we saw them. Okay, yeah, we yeah. saw them. 100,000. And many of them are lov lo lovely people. But not all of them would be supporting Hamas. Yes, I mean, they would be. No, I don't no, know they would no. Be. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised that they, you know, a lot of people don't like Hamas, but a lot of people... Yeah, but that, do. those you know people are protesting do. for a ceasefire for humanitarian reasons. A lot of them are. Yeah. Whereas in this case, he's specifically, he's specifically saying, and you know, there's two sides of the coin. You're absolutely right, and 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 and, and it's important to have balance. But he's praising Hamas, and Hamas is a terrorist group. Well, you you seem shocked by this whole thing. I'm completely not shocked. Well, moving on. What's in the front cover of the Sun?